got some questions about issues around controllers, plugging in your controller to your PC. So I wanted to make a video. Just as a heads up, I'm using Shadow PC. It's a virtual PC for non-Windows users like myself. I'm a Mac user. It's for those people that don't necessarily want to buy a Windows machine, but want to use Windows for a small reason, whether it be gaming or one particular use. I just wanted to say that because I'm not exactly a PC expert, but I can get my controller to work on my PC. And this is how I do it. First, you want to plug in your controller. Make sure it's registering with your computer. If you're using Shadow, you know, open up your Shadow menu by hitting Command Option O, clicking Controllers, and you should see it pop up here. You don't see it here. That's probably your issue. And then you want to go into your device settings by clicking a start button, clicking settings, going into devices and making sure your controller pops up here in this list as well. And then once you've confirmed that the easiest way and the most common way is to use the Steam controller settings. So let me open up Steam. You go into Steam, look at the top left corner, go to settings, navigate down to controller and click general control settings. From here, you're going to want to select whatever controller it is you're using. I'm using PlayStation. So I click PlayStation. If you're using Xbox, click the Xbox. I'm not sure if you need to do this if you're using xbox because xbox is made by microsoft so i don't know xbox users you can confirm but if you're having an issue maybe you just got to check this box as well but for playstation like myself i know that this is how you do it and then once you have that selected there you go ahead and click back hit okay and now you're back here at this screen if everything was done properly the next step is you're going to want to go up here to the top right it's like a box with two arrows on it it says big picture mode click that and then it should launch once you're in here, you should already be able to use your controller, but if you can't use your mouse and go up to the gear settings and go down to controller settings and it'll bring you back to where we were right previously. Now that right there should be the easiest way to get it to work. You can actually go in and configure your settings and change each button however you like. I've noticed that sometimes the keys don't remap exactly to how you'd want them to, so you can always go in and change them yourself. Just wanted to mention that. However, I do have another way to connect your controller. I use Steam majority of the time, but the reason why I don't always use Steam is because some GTA servers aren't controller friendly and I, I don't know why. So I found an additional software that if you are okay with going another step, what it does is it remaps your PlayStation controller into an Xbox controller, if that makes sense. And because of that, it becomes Windows friendly and well, and because of that, it makes it so that I can use its device for basically anything. So for those servers that Steam doesn't work for, I can still use my controller. The software that I use as a Steam alternative, I'll go ahead and open it up now. It's called Input Mapper. I'll drop a link to the website for the download, but basically I have this profile set to an Xbox controller. And now that it's turned on, it's already enabled and I can use my controller this way as well. So this is an alternative. I know some people have talked about REWASD as another alternative, but they offer you a free trial. And I saw another video recommending this where the free trial doesn't block the features that you need or something like that. Like you can use it without paying for it is what the video said. But I think maybe they saw that video and they changed that because now now I still have to pay the $7 to use it. Whereas with Input Mapper, it's still free or at least it's free for now. So I did like REWASD. So if you're open to paying for it, REWASD is, is another alternative. They have like a cool community thing where they have top game pad configurations for each game and they're voted on by the community. But Input Mapper just does what I need it to do. You know what I mean? I don't need all that. So this simply just makes the PlayStation circle button, the B button, it, the X button, A button is super simple. It just makes it just what I was looking for and thus it works. So. I wanted to share input mapper with you guys as well. Uh, yeah, I think that about covers it. This is a simple video, but it's simple in hindsight. Like once you know how to set it up, it's like, wow, that was super easy. But there's little check boxes that I wouldn't expect you to know to click just from sitting there yourself on the first go. If you didn't find the answer to your problem here, do your best to just describe it in the comments below. Myself or maybe someone else watching this video can answer this for you. So just don't be a stranger. I also stream as well. So if you catch me live, Feel free to drop in the chat if you have any other questions that way. But other than that, we still got the first goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. So if you like this video, please subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.